as the season gets going, you're going to want to make sure that you have the right systems in place so that you can efficiently bid new work and also eliminate any future duplicate steps that might exist within your business processes. One of those areas is performing maintenance takeoffs. So in this Property Intel Power Up, we're going to get back to the basics and show you how I would go about creating a maintenance takeoff using Property Intel. Now, if I had a new customer come in, the first step that I would do is head over to the properties area and I would add that prospect in as a property record within Property Intel. If you're an Aspire customer, you're going to do this in Aspire and then that record will sync over to Property Intel. The reason for doing this is it's going to create a place where a record, so to speak, where you can organize this takeoff plus any other future work that you might do for this customer, especially if you were to win them as a customer and you look at performing other projects, upsells and doing designs for enhancements in the future. So with the property created, you're going to do your first project. And so your first project in this example is going to be your maintenance takeoff. You can do that right from here within the property listing where you'll click add project and create new project. So you're going to give it a name. You can call it whatever you want to, uh, maintenance map, site map, however you want to do it. And so one of the other next steps you're going to do is you're going to want to have a template for performing that takeoff. So if you are on our advanced and above, you can create a property takeoff template. And that lets you get started really quickly. If you're on our essential tier, you can kind of do this by creating groups within your catalog that you can add to the project real quickly. And then lastly, if you're an Aspire customer, you're going to do that in Aspire using your property takeoffs area. And that's going to create the template that you would use to standardize measuring all the properties that come in that you're going to be bidding work on. So here I have my property takeoff template. So I'm going to click it. It's going to get me started because I'd already added this property in, you can see the address is already searched. So I'm just really gonna zoom in to what I want my default zoom level to be for this particular map. And then I'll click create project. So now this project is created. You can see because I started with the template, all my items are already over here ready for me to measure. Again, this creates a standardized system within your catalog and you can set these colors for these items. You can build out those templates within your project templates area of property intel. So when you're doing a maintenance takeoff, there's a couple of really just critical things that you want to make sure that you do. Uh, number one, you're going to want to be measuring things according to how you might actually be performing the work. Uh, so you want to be measuring the total turf area, but you also want to do it with the particular mowers that you might be measuring. And what this does is it's going to allow you to generate accurate time estimates for servicing this particular property. And so you can see here where I have all my mower size listed. That way, if it's a larger property than just a simple home, you can measure out what you might need to accurately service that property. The other things that you're going to want to be measuring, you're going to be doing things that, that you would do in every visit, such as edging. So you want to measure all the bed edges, soft edge, hard edge, whatever you need to call it for your, your particular business. Uh, you would typically measure your plant bed area. It's going to give you things for what you might need to know for spring cleanups, fall cleanups, or doing some just one-off mulchings of the property. Uh, any other particular special things, if there's a lot of area that has to be sprayed. Uh, and then lastly, oftentimes if there's annual color on the property, so that might find itself into the contract, you want to go ahead and capture that information so that you can use that, whether it's included in the contract or that's going to be future new work. So when it comes to measuring a property, you're just really going to be outlining this whole property uh, according to, again, like how you would end up servicing it. So in this one, uh, I might just be doing 48 inch mower for most of the property. Um, so I can click, go through measuring everything, outlining that property, how I might service it. Again, you would work your way through all of this particular area. Um, I'm not gonna measure all of it on this video just, to, just for time's sake, but you would work through classifying each area, measuring it according to how you would end up servicing the property so that you have it measured. But then, as I mentioned about eliminating duplicate steps, if you do it like this on the front end, when you win this work, you have a map that you can easily hand off to your production manager or to your crews to be able to service that property exactly the way that you estimated it. So again, I'm going to add another area in here. We're going to add our hard surfaces. Some helpful stuff as you're measuring is you can turn on things like uh, snap to edges. 
if I turn on snap to edges again, and you can use a keyboard shortcut for that, for this one, particularly it's an S then it's going to allow you to be able to measure and it's going to snap to the edges of existing areas. So it's going to help clean up your map so that you're really just kind of butting things up one to another. So that has that measured my sidewalks. One of the other common areas is hard edging. And so you can measure hard edging. Uh, so I can come in again, like using snap to edges, I could outline all of this hard surface to be able to measure. Uh, one of the other things that we have within property intels, we have associated materials helps you do this quicker. And so how I might do that here in sidewalks, um, if you open up the item, like you're going to draw it down here on the right, there's an edit item area I can click edit item, and then I can add in an associated material. So I can come in and add my hard edge. So in this case, you would, would be setting a, like setting a rate, but in order to speed things up, I know that everywhere I have a hard edge on the perimeter of it, I'm also going to, or everywhere I have a, like a hard surface on the perimeter, I'm going to have a hard edge. And so I can just simply turn on this, check the perimeter box. And what it's going to do is for all my sidewalk shapes, it's going to use that perimeter to populate the distance for my hard edge. It's a real quick way to speed up measuring and have it on there. If you need to show it on the map, you can also do that too, simply by outlining and measuring the area. But this is an example of how you might more efficiently do, do that particular work. You can also set this up within your template. And so if you want to measure this way, you can save and set these associations within the project templates area right there within your project template. So every time you do this particular like type of project, all that's already going to be set for you. So you can click, see when I click save here, how now my hard edge is populated again, and it's populated with the perimeter of this particular distance. So, so if I'm doing my maintenance takeoff, I'm going to work my way systematically through this property, making sure that I've cataloged all the different things that I know need to be cataloged so that I can price this work, but then also potentially a few other things on that property that I might need the data for to price other future work. If this becomes a customer that we regularly service or regularly do additional work for, um, quickly showing you within Aspire, how you would end up doing some of the very same things uh, in Aspire. A lot of the template stuff you're going to set up on the Aspire end within your administration console. But here I have a property uh, in Aspire. Whenever you click the meatball menu, you're going to go down and click this takeoffs area. And from within here, that's going to give you what your template is. And so you're going to have set this up for your particular company and you can click launch property until and create a new project to be able to perform that maintenance takeoff. And then all that data, as you measure it, will you can sync back into Aspire so that, that that data is saved within here and it can be used for building out contracts or pre-populating the kit uh, quantities that get added to a project that might reference these takeoff items. So that's how I might go about doing a maintenance takeoff. Uh, and a couple of just kind of little tricks and tips along the way. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out. We'd love to help you and love to help you even as you're considering how you might build out standardized processes within your business.